back to my channel Sierra Jonay. I'm Sierra. I'm bringing a video to you guys today. I've had a lot of messages on Facebook um, just wanting to know how I was able to do that SVG file and I am very new. That was my first time working with the SVG file. I just recently upgraded to the designer edition in my cameo silhouette. So I was pretty excited to give that a try and yet I was nervous um, like we all are about making, you know, that cut on that vinyl. But anyway, so I'm going to show you guys kind of step by step what I did to achieve that image onto that shirt that I, you know, posted on Facebook. So here it goes. Alright, so here I am. I'm in my silhouette software. And what I did was I went to file and I did merge, which is kind of, eh, there it goes. Okay, and I just typed in Afro Word Art. And then I hit OK. So it's loading as you can see and there she is lovely as can be all right so i'm going to kind of adjust it again i'm using my phone i need to kind of invest in like maybe a tripod or something so i don't have to you know continue to stop and do the step and come back and show you guys but what i am going to do i'm going to go ahead and resize it to my liking um get it within the you know cutting mat the cutting range that I needed to be in and I'll be right back to show you what it looks like okay so here it is I resized it I'm gonna make her a little bit larger than I did the first time just because I think I'm gonna put it on the back of my jean jacket or another this all white t-shirt I'm just not for sure what right now what I'm going to do with her but I did resize it and does have right now it's at 10.8 by 10.4 is what I have her size at so then once I do that I go over and open up my trace panel and hit select trace area and again, I can't do this with just one hand. So, I'm sorry. Let me do that and I'll be right back. Alright, so I have the box around her. Just indicating what I want to trace. And I go over to my threshold. And I want to take that all the way up. All the way up. Threshold to 100%. My high pass is off not using anything else this is what I'm using only the threshold so after I do select the threshold and go up to 100% I just hit trace and then I should be able to move the image okay so there's my traced image as you can see all the words have traced perfectly um, the little curls, everything has traced, her mouth, her lips, her eyes, eyebrows, everything. And once I traced it, the SVG file that I did merge into the software is now on the side. And this is what I'm working with now. So now that I have that, I'm pretty much ready to cut. What I do want to do, since I am using HTV, I want to flip it, of course. You know mirror your image so that you're able to cut it so I'm going to go ahead and flip her and I believe that's exactly how I like it I was how I want her to be so I'm going to send it to my cameo now and my cut settings I use vinyl glossy um, when I'm using my HTV it works fine for me I'm not sure if that's the correct setting, but that is the one that I do choose to use. And it works, it cuts it out just fine, excuse me. So I'm going to go ahead and get her sent over so we can get her cut out. So I just have some pretty blue vinyl 
load it into my cameo that's what i'm going to be using today like i said i may put it on a t-shirt and again i may put it on a light denim um jean jacket for myself and i think i want to do her lips a pink um also so i will show you how to do that as well i'm going to go ahead and let her cut out and then i'll be right back okay guys so she's finished being cut I'm going to weed her out and I've already did what I did was release compound pad pad is what it is um, and I took her lips and I moved them into a new page on my software um, I went again in again to the trace area put my trick my threshold I can't talk today y'all but you know what I mean Y'all know what I mean. <laughs> See, I cannot talk. But anyways, um, I increased my threshold to 100%. So the lips are fully traced. And I did flip each one of the lips separately, horizontally, in order to be able to cut it out on my HTV. So that is what it looks like. And what I'm going to do now, again, is send it over. As soon as I wait a minute, I missed a step. So, okay, I increased the threshold. Then let me hit trace, and I did that. Okay, so I traced it and then I removed the image off to the side. So I have her lips left traced, and I sent it. My cut settings are already set to vinyl glossy, and I'm just using a piece of scrap vinyl in pink to cut her lips out so I'm gonna get that started and I'll be back alright y'all so this is what she looks like all weeded out let's see her and this is a like a navy blue vinyl that I'm using for her and I weeded it out all the little curls and words and I decided to go with a white t-shirt I think that's what I'm going to go with I may make a new one and put it on my jean jacket um but for now I'm going to put her on a just a regular um white t-shirt that I do get wholesale um for my business and what I usually do is just make sure she's centered um, my heat press is turned to the side right now. I don't have a lot of counter space. Um, have to figure out somewhere else to put it um, so it's just not in the way. But until then, this is what I have to work with. So I kind of use my phone um, just to see, make sure she is in the middle. I know people say you can invest in one of those, I guess, t-shirt rulers or something of that nature i'm not for sure exactly what it's called but i may have to get me one of those so i'm going to continue just to make sure she's centered again i use my teflon sheet with my heat press oh if i can get it to protect my shirts um to take all my shirts my things that i do press just so it doesn't damage it at all I'm going to continue to make sure she's centered, and I'll be right back. So I'm giving that a 15-second press. What I did do was I already weeded out her lips um, to go. I just usually cut them so that I can try to get the placement as perfect as possible when I'm putting it on there. So... Let her press a little bit. I had my heat press already warming up for me. So let's see. My Teflon sheet just removed that. And it does get quite hot, you guys. So you can let it cool off if you like. Before you pull the backing away and just do so very carefully I don't know if you guys can see that I'm not holding the camera at the best angle 
carefully. You want to do it as careful as possible just to prevent any lifting. Again, you are going to do a, well, I'm going to do a second press right now. I'm going to put the lips on, but I will do a, a final press to kind of make sure everything is together. But so far, it looks gorgeous. Okay, so let me put the lips on, you guys. Show you what I'm doing. It's a little layering, I guess it's called. A little layering, layering, layering technique I'm doing. So I just stuck those on top. And it looks pretty good to me. Hopefully you guys can see what I did. Just layered it on top. Again, I'm going to use my Teflon sheet to protect what I just pressed and to protect the t-shirt. Give it a quick 15 second press. This is just a, this is a 5-in-1 heat press that I got off of eBay. Um, probably a few months back now. It comes with a cap press, um, mug press, and also a plate press which i have not got a chance to use yet but you can utilize it for many different things um you want to press on a plate a cup a hat i'm working on my hats trying to get that down but right now i like making t-shirts it's very simple to use not hard at all again it's going to be hot so what i want to do is just peel that back end off lovely and again just peel that off and here is where i do my final press just to make sure everything is together nothing's gonna lift oh see get a quick 15 second press all right guys and here is what she looks like Got that final press in there. Everything looks like it's intact. Everything looks good to me. I hope you guys liked it. I will be back with more detailed videos on how I do this. Like I said, I'm new just like you and we're all learning together. But if I can help, I will try my best to answer any questions, um, to show any steps if needed again. As always, make sure you guys thumbs up, like, comment, subscribe, and thanks for watching, and I will see all of you next time. Thank you.